Hi all. I've been finding myself recently repeating this phrase over and over and over, not only to uh, colleagues and clients, but to friends and certainly to myself. Stephanie Swafford, RapidBodyMindClarity.com here. And the phrase is, the more you can be with what is, the easier it is to be with what is. Think about it. Yes, it's all part of staying in the present, staying in the here and now, and that is a huge challenge, sometimes from moment to moment, and an even bigger challenge when we're in the middle of a crisis or upheaval or upset of some kind. But think about it, just energetically speaking. If we're way ahead, we have to reel ourselves in to come back to the present moment. If we're way in the past, we have to drag ourselves forward to get to the present moment. And in the way of all of that are thoughts and worries and judgments and, and um, old ghosts and fears. And there's a lot in the way of that path, isn't there? So come back to what is. This is what is. Well, I don't like what is. Got it. Separate issue. I want to be in a different place. Got it. Still a separate issue. I'm not happy with what is. Got it. Still a separate issue. Here we are. The here and now. This is what is. This is what is. The more you can be with what is, the easier it is to be with what is. You get used to it like we do anything else that we do. Like, yeah, I'm not happy about this and I'm here. I would like it to be different and I'm here. And won't it be nice when, and I'm here. Remember to draw on that mindful breath, which is a fast way to reset yourself and coming back to what is. It is what it is until it isn't. The more you can be with what is, the easier it is to be with what is. And yes, I grant you, no small feat, and it's the practice, is it not? RapidBodyMindClarity.com, wander over. Tell me how it is to be with what is these days. Thanks much. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay well, stay safe. Cheers.